Hey guys, and welcome back to another, um, Lego review. Um, I don't have any Lego up here yet, but, um, we're gonna be doing the Rebel Troop Transporter. And it's here. So this is what we're gonna be doing. Um, pretty big for the camera. Oh, the iPad. Um, but yeah. So, we're gonna be doing this. Um, but yeah. So, to start things off, we have the front hatch that can open, of course. There are some of your minifigs in there. A layout here, and then Admiral Akira at the back, and a rebel guy here. Um, so, yeah, here's three out of four of your minifigs. Um, then you can, of course, that back up like that. These bits on the side here, they can come off. And this one is different than this because there is uh, like proton shots in this one. So at the back here, there's a screen at the back, right there, and that's where you press to look at the shot for me. So we shall try that now. So that's how you do that. Um, and then here's the back bit. There's like engines here. Um, this is like a pod thing that doesn't come off or anything. And then there's like small wings, and there's bigger wings up here. Um, a lot of the stickers will bend though, because, well, this one, so this one kind of folds out a bit, um, and a lot of stickers, big sticker sheet, uh, but, uh, yeah, there's the side on view of the gun bit, um, and, and then there's the cockpit room, so that's the front, then there's the back, and then there's, like, the sideway view, but there's nothing really there. Um, again, this thing can actually detach uh um so this this and this can detach from the main compartment but i will show you that now and the good thing is that it's really easy to detach so what you want to do is you want to grab the cockpit there you go you got one attached there it's a bit where it goes in there. For the back there. Um, but yeah this has an engine on the back my favorite play feature is to do with this um, there is this piece here, there, and that actually twists, and then if you look at the cup thing, twist it, then you can grab it with your finger and pull it open. It's a really small space though, so, again, it's kind of cool, but, anyway, yeah, and then there's the, uh, bit where you can fold this down, for some reason I don't think you're actually supposed to do that, but they allow you to, so, yeah, and then you just go ahead and put this back on, like this, go like that, snap it back on, so, yeah, and then I'm going to do the same with this side, uh, uh, this, this one, can attach like that, and then this can also attach like that, so there you have it, um, that's how you do that, and then you can do the same thing here, you have kind of really big guns, um, and then you can, after you fold this bit down the hatch of it, you can fold these up so that you can get a gun playable bit, um, like that. So there is a bit of the inside, um, there's a bit of the inside, so there you go. This is like the small kind of bit where they can go. Then there's Leia, coffee mug. Um, she has like a transparent coffee mug, um, and then just like that. So, yeah, this one's playability probably one of the best like um, flying vehicles of Star Wars with playability because this one is like small, so it can just go like this and spin around, and you can do like barrel rolls with it, and you can just make it really small so it can take off these. Then you can just have a hub cap bit here. But, um, yeah, I was gonna say, if you were going to get this, um, I'd say probably grab it. Not just, um, maybe the Lego Star Wars, but this one is really good. Um, really good one to grab. Um, I think this is better than the Kylo Ren's Command Shuttle. There will be a video on that because I have it just up there. I mean, It's just up there somewhere, but, um, yeah, you guys probably can't see. 
up there. Um, but yes, oh, over there. So yeah. Um, so that was the Rebel Troop Transporter. Um, so there you go again. Um, so yeah. If you like this video, guys, um, please like and subscribe. Check out the Squidlips 101 channel. Squidlips 101, no space or anything um, for 101. But um, yeah, really good set. And I would say if you were to get this, um, well, I mean, if you had enough for like a Lego Star Wars set or something, probably get this one. This one is really good. Um, I'm sorry that it's kind of like cut in half because the iPad's kind of on an angle and you can't really um, see it. So yeah. But, um, yeah, if you're going to get this, I'd say probably get it. It's a really good set. Um, it doesn't really take that long to build, but, yeah, it's a good set. Um, so, yeah.